good afternoon. My name is Kiki, and the cameraman behind the scene is Sebastian. We are putting together a video on how to do uh, plant preventive maintenance on a steady auto cliff, tabletop auto cliff. And, uh, so we'll be taking you through steps on how we do the uh, PPM. Yeah. To start with the PM, we make sure that the power cord is disconnected from the power source so that we don't get ourselves electrocuted. We also do thorough clean of the casing, the outside of the device. So after doing that, we look at the gasket, the door gasket, clean it well, ensure that it's properly clean. Then we look at the, the chamber. The chamber has two temperature sensors. One down here. You can look at it. This is it. And the other one on top. The device here is the, temp the water level sensor. Yes. So we make sure we clean all this properly. Not with a very hard... Um, substance but something soft and then it doesn't have any debris on it which will prevent the ability to transmit the the, uh, the temperature to the device then we also check the filters this is the battery filter in front we also check this to see whether it's okay. Actually, it's supposed to be changed once every year. Same with the gasket. Yes. But because it's not available, we've, we've been managing with it. Um, we also have another filter at the back here. So... We open it and there is a filter inside. This is to prevent all um, dirt and any solid particle in the chamber from entering into the, um, into the chamber. Then there is also a filter of similar nature in the reservoir where we put water for for the sterilization so we make sure that is also clean there is no dead block in it at the same time we also ensure that we test this exhaust valve to see whether it's functioning if this is not tested and there's so much pressure in the device you cannot guarantee that it will open so after cleaning the, the, the chamber of all that, we drain it through this tube. We keep cleaning until all that sediments are out of this. This filter is also connected to this, uh, the other one that we look at at the back. So, after that, we check our fuses to see whether the fuses are sitting well. Okay. Okay. We check our fuses whether they are sitting well in their sockets properly. All the cables are properly sitting. Because if the cables here are not properly seated and the contacts are not good, you are likely not to have the device powering. And also, we ensure that this cable, check this cable very well, which is going to the door panel that is also properly in place. So after doing this, 
we now come to use um, the descaling agent which we use for cleaning of the chamber. So after using the descaling agent, you run the cycle two other times to make sure that all particles of the agent in the system are properly removed. Then the device is ready for, for use. But we also want to show you some few parts that uh, by experience we will need and some faults that occur regularly. So one of them is as usual all other autoclaves, leakage from the door. If the gasket is worn out, we have that issue most of the time. Or the door locking mechanism is not in good shape. So, for the door, if the door working mechanism is not in good shape, this is the door locking mechanism. When you close the door, automatically screw itself and tighten so that you cannot open it until the 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 cycle is completed. So, there is a a micro switch here. If that micro switch, uh, switch is damaged, you are likely not to get your door locked. Yes. We also have another device, um, which uh, another part which keeps failing on a regular basis. That is the pump. Because of the pressure on it, actually the pump is supposed to be serviced once every year, but the parts for servicing it are not easily available. So we are not able to service it the way is supposed to be so at the end of the day it gets worn out and the manufacturer recommended replacement so another one is the transformer it's a 60 watts transformer which provide power to the board the the panel or oh. so when this transformer is down i mean you will not get anything functioning only there's a light on the on the on the panel on the switch here so it's also one of the things but it's also not available so we do rewinding instead of buying uh, uh, for replacement another problem that also happened is the uh, maybe your pressure sensor your pressure sensor is not functioning so when the it's not able to maintain quality pressure in the system. This is the pressure sensor. So if this is 40, you have that kind of problem. You will not be able to achieve your serialization. Um, what again? I think basically those are the problems. And when this filter is dirty, it, will, it is difficult to keep the door, op to open the door after you finished your serialization because it's not able to um, pull in air through the the filter for the pressure inside the chamber to step to be equalized or balanced with the atmospheric temperature uh, atmospheric pressure yeah so basically and then another thing is this gauge sometimes the pump will be sucking in but the pressure gauge will not respond or it will get stuck. It will remain there for a long time, then it will move all of a sudden. When that happens, it is a problem because if you don't have this pressure gauge working, you will not be able to know whether the pressure inside and the outside is balancing. And even if there is um, an over pressure in the chamber, probably as a result of failure of the, um, the pressure, regulator. Uh -huh. So basically, those are some few uh, things we want to take you through. Our whole, okay, so, so the whole idea about this uh, exercise is to encourage my colleagues to make similar videos of devices like the same autoclave sterilizer, the oxygen concentrator, and then the suction machine. 
so that we make videos of this nature and teach each other things that you know share our problems we've had and how we've been able to overcome them thank you very much it's a pleasure uh, talking to you